Closure has made the leap from a free web-based Flash game to a full-fledged commercial release on PSN. Its artistic integrity is intact, but will what was once free inspire you to drop some cash? A puzzle game that wears its concept on its sleeve, Closure's black and white look mirrors its gameplay. What is illuminated actually exists in the physical sense. What lay in darkness does not, including the ground, with falling to your death being the number one reason you'll restart a stage. Ferrying around glowing bulbs and positioning spotlights to avoid the void is paramount as you search for doors, keys, and the occasional hidden moth. In no time, you'll be educated on the use of negative space as makeshift light shafts become elevators. Despite a few interesting wrinkles like no drop zones where you can't put down objects or dealing with the buoyancy of water, closure starts to feel rapidly familiar. That said, there are plenty of head scratchers that seem like an unanswerable Zen koan, so it's a relief that Closure's hub structure allows you to tackle other diversions when you're stumped or stymied. There are scores of puzzles and a handful of avatars, each with unique animations, levels, and gameplay twists. Illuminating a rogue corner might not reveal answers, but still might uncover a unique piece of art, which adds a layer of sensory exploration. Likewise, the music is evocative and grand, painting in the color the visuals lack. The presentation's fidelity stands out with obvious TLC for the PlayStation 3. Though the step and repeat nature of inching a light source in tandem with the key can grow tiresome, the great puzzles and light-hearted platforming don't butt heads very often. Closure's grip of levels aren't so devious that you won't exhaust them in a few play sessions, but there are more than enough secrets for those willing to repeatedly wade into the shadows. Puzzle aficionados who like their eureka moments mixed with a splash of action will devour this shadowy gem. Thank <laughs> you.